The change comes as the Senate prepares to take an initial procedural vote to move forward on the bill as early as Wednesday afternoon. Biden and Senate Democratic leaders are scrambling to keep their caucus united since they cannot lose a single Democrat in the 50-50 Senate with Republicans united against the legislation. A.D. A.D. Under the plan passed by the House. Individuals earning up to $75,000 per year and couples making up to $150,000 per year would qualify for the full $1,400 stimulus payment. The size of the payments then begins to scale down before zeroing out for individuals making $100,000 per year and couples making $200,000. Under the changes agreed to by Biden and Senate Democratic leadership, individuals earning $75,000 per year and couples earning $150,000 would still receive the full. $1,400 per person benefit. However, the benefit would disappear for individuals earning more than $80,000 annually and couples earning more than $160,000. That means singles making between $80,000 and $100,000 and couples earning between $160,000 and $200,000 would be newly excluded from a partial benefit under the revised structure Biden agreed to. The changes were confirmed by a Democratic aide who spoke on the condition of anonymity to describe internal deliberations. A.D. A.D. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said Biden has always been open to a faster phase-out for higher earning individuals and he is comfortable with where the negotiations stand. He is comfortable and knows there will be tweaks on the margin, Pasaki said at the White House. Press briefing Wednesday. What his firm viewpoint is, is that it needs to meet the scope of the challenge. It needs to be the size he's proposed. It needs to have the core components in order to have the impact on the American people. Economic stimulus or economic relief. Here's what we know about who might qualify for the next round of coronavirus checks and how much they'll get. Monica Rodman. Sarah Hashemi. Monica Actor, The Washington Post. The stimulus checks are one element of a wide-ranging package that also includes $350 billion for state and local aid. $130 billion for schools. $160 billion for vaccinations, testing and other health care system support, an enhanced child tax credit and other provisions including rental assistance and food assistance. A.D. A.D. Sen. Jean Shaheen. D.N.H. was among those who had called for changing the eligibility levels for checks. Telling reporters this week. I think we could drop it below the $200,000 and still get households that really need it. She said she would hope to redirect the savings from that change toward other needs, such as hospitals. Narrowing eligibility for the stimulus checks was just one change moderates like Shaheen and Joe. Mansion 3. W. V. A. Had been seeking. Several were also eyeing limiting money for state and local governments and changing the structure of federal unemployment benefits in the bill to keep them at $300, their current level, rather than raise them to $400 as proposed by Biden and passed by the House. A.D. Senate Democrats do not intend to adopt the suggested change to unemployment benefits and they will stay at $400 per week. The aide said. The unemployment benefits are currently set to expire March 14. The Biden bill would extend them through August. Democrats are aiming for final passage of the bill. Ahead of the March 14 deadline. A.D. About 12 million fewer adults and 5 million fewer kids would get the stimulus payments under the new Biden Senate compromise. According to preliminary estimates from the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy, a left-leaning think tank, 
about 280 million Americans in total, 200 million adults and 80 million kids, would be eligible for the checks under the new structure. Centrist Senate Democrats had initially pushed for even more aggressive restrictions on the stimulus payments. Senior Democratic officials had at one point considered dropping the full benefit for those making more than $50,000 per year, a change they ultimately abandoned after a backlash led by Senate Finance Chair Ron Wyden, Dior, and Senate Budget Chair Bernie Sanders, IVT, AD. Still, liberal lawmakers bristled at the new changes. House liberals have suggested it could be difficult for them to approve the package if it's watered down significantly in the Senate. Presuming the Senate passes the package later this week, it would still have to go back to the House for final approval. A.D. I don't understand the political or economic wisdom in allowing Trump to give more people relief. Checks than a Democratic administration, Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, said in a statement, People went far too long without relief last year, if anything we should be more generous. Not more stingy. It's also an insensitive compromise for the roughly 80% of Americans that live in urban areas, which are known for higher costs of living. Senate moderates were discussing further changes and GOP senators were also preparing amendments aimed at further targeting the legislation, which have potential to peel off Democratic votes as the legislation moves through the Senate. A.D. Democrats are advancing the package under a process called budget reconciliation that allows it to pass with a simple majority instead of the 60 votes normally required. With only 50 votes in the Senate, Democrats must ensure they stay united in order to pass the legislation with Vice President Harris. Breaking the tie. A.D. Attention has focused on Senate moderates who have voiced skepticism about various elements of the bill. Pisaki expressed optimism Wednesday that Democratic moderates such as Manchin and others would ultimately support the bill.